Being able to import external content is an essential technique that every flasher should know. So in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you that process. To begin, I'm going to create a new flash file, Action Script 3, of course. I'm going to modify my stage properties real quick. 630 by 190. And I need to save this in the same directory as that image. I'll do a file save. Here you'll see that I have a flash import folder on my desktop. Inside that folder I have an austinlights.jpg. This is the file I'm going to be importing. I'm going to save this file as import file. I'm going to rename my layer 1 to actions. and open up my actions panel. So to begin, I need a variable to hold in the location of that file that I want to display. So I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to name this variable img location. I'm going to data type this as a URL request. I need to instantiate this new URL request. And inside this, I'm going to pass in the location of that file. AustinLights.jpg. Now, if this was a flash file, we just need to change the extension to .swf. Next, I need to create a loader object that will hold this information or hold this graphic and display it to my user. So I need to create another variable. I'm going to name this variable img loader. It's going to be of type loader. And of course I need to instantiate this one as well. New loader. Now what I need to do is with this image loader I need to load in the location of that file. Image loader dot load and you'll see that I need to have a object or a URL request with that information. So I'm going to pass in IMG location. The last thing I need to do is actually add this picture or add this to the display list so I can see it on my stage. I'm going to use the add child method and in there I'm going to pass in the image loader. There you go. Pretty simple. I'm going to press Control Enter to test it. And there's my file. So here, after that I have this picture, you know, externally loaded into my project, I can then create a preloader, I can run different types of events off of it, I can do a lot of different things. And in an upcoming tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import this picture again, but use a preloader to show you the information loaded into your project.